Everyone is talking about it. Manual testing is dead. Or is it? Let's find out. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're tackling one of the biggest or hottest debates in the world of QA. Is manual testing dead or is it simply evolving? In the next few minutes we're going to dig into the reasons behind this claim, into what actual key market looks like these days and mainly, what does it mean for you if you are a manual QA engineer? But I will discuss it only with those kind of people who will hit this big fat thumb up button below right now, who will subscribe to your channel because you do not want to miss out on such a useful content as free tutorials, success stories, and mainly insane amount of interview preparation that you can see on our channel. And you can actually see a very popular one right here. Anyways, let me quickly introduce myself and then I'm gonna get started. My name is Sergey Kromchenko, I'm a software QA engineer, lead manager and a senior engineering manager of SDAT in the past. But these days, I'm helping people like you to become a QA engineer from scratch or to improve your existing skills. Now, let's dive into it. The rise of software development, continuous integration and DevOps has led to a massive focus on test automation. Many companies equate automation testing with faster, cheaper, and better. But does that mean that manual testing is gone? Not exactly. The narrative started because companies simply wanted to reduce the cost and the time. And automation seemed like a silver bullet for it. But let's separate the hype from reality. Automation shines in the repetitive, regression-heavy scenarios. It's fantastic for quickly running same tasks over different browsers or environments. It actually answers the question what we should automate first. The things which are mostly repetitive, right? Which is smoke check, regression testing, and something that is hard to test manually, but you can automate it and it will be done automatic in the future. But on the other hand, manual testers excel in the human-centric scenarios, such as exploratory testing, usability checks, or those weird test cases which we should always think about. One thing that automation definitely cannot replicate is human intuition. On the other hand, test automation is taking a huge portion of labor that was previously done with manual hands. And if you are a 100% manual tester, I'm pretty sure you feel the pressure because market these days pushing people or key professionals to learn test automation, to learn scripting, and even to learn CI, CD, and pipelines. And just like this guy right here, by the way, he's a graduate of our bootcamp. He got a job offer when he was, when he was 18 years old as the QA engineer. The position was for the manual QA, but when he went for an interview, guess what? He got quite a few questions about test automation and algorithm challenges, even though the position was saying manual QA testers. And by the way, if you guys are interested to learn QA from scratch, we're offering a one-week introduction course for simply 20 bucks, where you can become a part of the US-based startup to gain experience. You can become a part of our bootcamp so you could see how do we teach and mentor people. And if you will like it, if you will enjoy it, you can continue with the more advanced courses such as manual or automation. And if you are a manual QA, you can simply just go directly there and try QA automation course. I'm going to leave a link right below this video. Let's continue. But let's be honest, manual testing is never going to vanish entirely. Never ever. Remember my words. As long as there is a software that needs human empathy, creativity, and outside of the box approach, there will always simply be a need for testers. Not as many as before, but there will definitely be. However, purely manual jobs, especially those that are concentrating on repetitive tasks, such as running the same regression over and over, are slowly going to be sinking deeper and deeper. The repetitive checks are prime candidates for automation. And that's exactly where the dead narrative comes from. So, what should manual testers do? Get familiar with CI CD. Understand GitHub Actions, by the way, which is the most popular continuous integration and continuous delivery system in the world. And here's a video about it. So, is manual testing dead? Not exactly. It's actually evolving. The demand for QA professionals who can handle both manual testing and automation testing is still pretty high. 
because you cannot just automate things if you have not tested them manually. And whenever you even decide to automate something, you have to first go through step by step and see how the functionality of the application works. And only then you'll be able to automate it. So if I would be manual QA these days, I would simply upgrade my skills to become a QA automation engineer. If I would be QA automation engineer, I would grab myself and I would start learning CI CD to be more, more involved into DevOps and development process. And if I would be you, I would hit that big fat thumb up button below. I would subscribe to our channel and I would also leave a comment right below this video and say how much you have enjoyed or not enjoyed this video. Now get some water, get some workout, get a good rest and I'll see you next time.